today I'm showing you guys something I've never shown to anyone else and that is all of my gear. So today we're going to go through all of the gear that I use to film my YouTube videos and I will show all of you guys that right now. Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to look at all the gear that I use. So from lights to monitor to computer to camera, everything I will be exposing in this video. So come on, let's go. Okay, so first what I'm gonna show you guys is what I use the most, which is my camera. So this is one of the most important parts of my setup to make it look nice. And what I use is the Canon T6i, Canon Rebel T6i. So this has a lot of features from HD video up to 60 frames per second. It's not 4K, I know, but it's what I have and I'm grateful to have it. It works just fine and it covers all of my needs for my channel. I've got this lens that came with the camera already on it. It's super great just for um, close and wide shots. It's not a telephoto one, but it's perfect for what I use for my setup. So right now the price of that is $534.99 on Amazon. I will have a link for you guys down in the description if you want to purchase that. One of my favorite features about uh, the Canon T6i is that it has Wi-Fi enabled. So what you can do is you can download the Canon app. Um, I'll show a little picture of it right here. And you can use Wi-Fi to transmit photos directly onto your phone and save them to your camera roll. Which is super nice if you take really high quality videos and want to share it on Instagram or Facebook or social media or just for personal use. That's definitely a super great camera to use, so I definitely recommend using that one. Especially for beginners, this one's a nice one. It's high quality. You can get some other like cheaper ones, but um, that works just great for me. So if you're beginners or intermediate um, like YouTubers, that's a pretty great camera. All right, so moving on to the next one is these lights from Niwer, I think you say. I have this one and then it's twin right there, which I'm using to light myself right now. But they come in a two pack. They have these nice little diffusers that already come with it. And one of my favorite features about these is that it has this little switch down here that you can just turn on and off. And that way I can keep them plugged in all the time and just switch them on and off if I need to. And they also come with a bag. I don't know where the bag is right now. It's a nice bag that's durable that you can carry both of these in uh, for transportation, like on photo shoots or filming, you know, stuff. And they are all together $113. They come in a set, so I will have a link to that also down in the description. And you can also see the bag in the picture that they show on Amazon. These I have had for like one and a half years, something like that, and they're super nice. They provide a lot of light. I've even used this for like green screen stuff and definitely super great when it comes to lighting and big like photo shoots and different stuff. I've even let my sister use it for like product shoots on Poshmark and all that kind of stuff. So they're definitely really high quality look super great with the diffusers on them and they're definitely a really great buy. Okay, so the next thing I wanna show you guys is this Lenovo uh, Think Center monitor, I think it's called. It's got um, all of these ports down here. So it's got display port, HDMI. It even goes up and down, which is super nice because I like to adjust it for different levels that I have. It's also got this pretty nice um, HD camera on the top for like video calls or something. So let me show you what it looks like when it's turned on. It's got definitely um, great like quality for what I need for my studio. It's nice to see stuff on a big screen when I'm doing like product reviews and it looks looks really, really nice. So this monitor, if you get it from Amazon Renewed, is only 190, which is great. I've actually bought this one from eBay, uh, but you can find it on Amazon for like the same price. But if you buy it brand new, it's like 390, I think. Another great thing about this monitor is that um, you can open this part right here down at the bottom and you can stick in an entire computer, uh, Lenovo's Think Center computer, I think. So it'll slide in the back and it's like an all-in-one setup with your desktop and your monitor all in one. So I think that's super awesome. So one of my favorite pieces of equipment is this Samson QTU microphone. I've already done a video on this if you want to check it down below, but this mic is super, super nice. It's got this on and off switch here. And if I take it out, I can just slip it out of this little holder. You can see that this gives me the volume of my computer. So if I move that up and down, uh, it will adjust the volume on my computer. It's got uh, an XLR cable input as well as uh, the default uh, cord that comes with it. 
Plus you can stick in a pair of wired headphones so you can hear what your voice sounds like uh, through the microphone. And this is what I've been using for all of my videos since I got this uh, probably about a year ago. So this microphone is only $69, uh, super great price for the quality. I mean, it sounds like a professional podcasting microphone. I mean, that's what it is. Um, and it's just got really great quality. This little uh, wind protector or muff, whatever they call them, comes with it. And it's super nice for recording my YouTube videos with. So one of my favorite parts about my microphone setup is my microphone arm stand. I also newer, so the same people who did uh, my softbox lights makes this and it's super great, only $20. It uh, moves just like that so you could scoot it back or move it forward. It's super nice, it attaches right here onto my desk so I kind of have it in this drawer because it goes on like the lip of my desk and I just kind of keep it a little bit half open but for my current situation that's what I have it as and this is just the excess cord from it it's a USB so it goes right into my computer right there with a little adapter because I have a MacBook with only USB-C but it's super great and I love it so much it fits the Samson uh, perfectly and also a lot of other famous microphones also work with that it's very compatible with a lot of different kinds Okay, so by far my favorite purchase I made for my studio, sort of for my studio, is this 13 inch MacBook. I love it so much. It works perfectly with the Intel chip. It works great. And I have this little shell on it. So this shell on the top just kind of like protects it and keeps it safe. I got that recently just to protect it and to make it look cool. So this works just fine. It works great with Premiere Pro and especially Final Cut Pro. And I love how all my apps um, sync with my iPhone and everything just works super nice and is great for editing on the go with my small little 13 inch MacBook Pro. So since this MacBook Pro is a little bit older, I couldn't find the exact one that I bought originally. I did buy this one from eBay, but you can find one that's pretty similar to it on Amazon for around $600 uh, from Amazon Renewed. So it has been uh, like renewed or used, but I bought this one used as well and it's been working great. So when it comes to finding like used stuff, just make sure you do your research and make sure that it's one that actually will work and all that stuff. Plus messaging the seller also helps to find out all the specs and if it has any like dents or you know if it works properly but you can also get the m2 macbook pro for 1500 that's the latest one that just came out like a couple weeks ago that one i cannot wait to try but it's super great um but i'm thinking of upgrading to that one sometime in the future or maybe the m3 chip by then who knows but yeah this one definitely packs a punch uh, I've used After Effects with it and some pretty heavy tasks. So it's run fairly well for all of that hardcore stuff. And the last thing is probably one of my more recent additions. It's this little like cheap lamp thing, uh, super simple on and off switch. I got this from a garage sale for like, I don't know, 10 or $5. This little guy comes straight from Amazon Basics. This is a little camera remote that I can use to just uh, turn on my videos. So I can just click it and it will start recording just like that. You can see in the top, that little red dot means it's recording. This is great for thumbnails. I can set it on a timer, click the button and post for a thumbnail on YouTube and it will take a picture. I love this thing so much and it's wireless. So all you have to do is just configure it with your camera and it's super easy to find out how to use these. So definitely recommend this. It's only $13 from Amazon and it's definitely one of the biggest things that I use on my channel all the time. So definitely helps with thumbnails and all that stuff and you can grab it in the link in the description. This little guy is um, a Canon camera replacement uh, battery set from Artman. So this is the Artman LPE17 and this works with my Canon Rebel T6i, which I showed you guys uh, first. These have like triple or like quadruple the life of the default Canon camera battery that came with them. It's so much better than the original ones. And I definitely recommend getting these. Both of them charge at the same time and they're USB chargeable. 
So you can just stick that into the wall, laptop, car, charger, and even like a battery pack to just charge them on the go. I have a full review of this uh, down in the link of the description, as well as an Amazon link uh, that you guys can purchase this. Um, but this is definitely like one of the best purchases I've made uh, for my camera as it will just, you know, let me record way longer videos with it and I love them so much. So this guy that holds my camera is the Suntac Ultra 600 PG tripod and this is great it's just a basic simple tripod that i got from like my dad i think but um yeah it just works super great you know it's a tripod it's a super self-explanatory fits you know all dslr cameras with that little knob underneath it and even has like a little level to show you um if your camera is like perfectly leveled and all that and even has this crank to make uh your camera go up and down if you like twist it you can see it goes up it's hard to do it with one hand so i won't try it um and also it's got this little grip which i love and you just squeeze the grip and you can remove this anywhere you want and then just let go and it will stay there so it's really great for like moving around um for different shots if you want to like point it down real fast to show like a product review on the table it's super great you can grab this in the link in the description for 54 dollars on amazon and it's just a great basic simple tripod that works for all of my needs